I have been talking about supplements because in the majority of cases I have seen and I believe that they work great, especially in patients with chronic illnesses. However, I like to listen to everyone's concerns and questions. And this is why today I'm bringing you seven ways that you can actually avoid taking any supplements or pills and still live a very good life. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Dr. Lucy Coleman. And as usual, we're going to be talking about health and things that can empower you to become a life boss, because this is what this program is about. And talking about life boss, this is one of the steps of my program. So I usually like to see if patients really need taking supplements and pills and keep going forward to having a healthy life. And I'm going to show you and tell you the ways that you can actually implement in your life to achieve this. One of the most positive advantages of this is that you don't need to rely on going to the doctor all the time to get pills or you don't need to spend so much money on supplements. Supplements can sometimes be expensive and especially if you're taking lots of them. So this method is a lot cheaper and maybe more convenient for you. However, I'm telling you, you really need to stick to all the things that I'm going to mention here. These are not part of a quick fix solution. They will take time. However, they will provide you with long term results. And that's really the goal. So let's dive into the seven things that you should be doing to really have a healthier life and not depending on pills or supplements. Number one, adopt a good and effective exercise routine. This is important because you need to adapt your body to increase the blood flow and also to increase the metabolism. That way, all your processes in the body are going to be working a lot better. And what is my advice? Do at least 30 minutes daily of exercises for five to six days. You can also increase some cardiovascular and resistant exercises and add them to your routine and increase the routine that you are taking with those. And, and by this, I mean, if you were used to do maybe one day of cardiovascular and one day of resistance, try to do two days and two days, you know, two days of cardiovascular, two days of resistant exercises, and your body will get used to that. And then you can do some mild exercises the rest of the days, but always try to increase the exercise routine and change some habits. If you used to park very close to your work or whatever you are going to, try to park far away. So you need to walk. Encourage your body to always be exercises. And, and actually, if you can walk outside and walk outdoors and do something very entertaining and be in touch with nature, that's a lot better. If you can uh, add some yoga routines and do some uh, stretches, and that's going to help you a lot to increase the blood flow. And that's the meaning. And remember that exercising also increases the release of very good hormones. And your hormone balance is going to be a lot better. That's the goal. Number two will be eat a diet as healthy and nutritious as possible. And this means that if you can incorporate some foods that are very healthy, like for example, complex carbohydrates, vegetables, fruits, lean proteins, and healthy fats with at least one daily intake of superfood, so adding one of the superfood list into your diet, that will take you a long way. And I recommend you to go away and avoid anything that will be unhealthy fats, processed carbohydrates like white flour, cookies, crackers, and sugar. Your body will start improving and feeling better. And your risk of getting any chronic illness or continue the developing of one will decrease. Number three, avoid the consumption of tobacco, drugs, or alcohol. Remember, you are here looking and seeking for ways to reduce the risk of any chronic illness or to accustom your body to heal quicker and get rid of anything that is going on right now. 
And these agents are definitely risk factors and you need to take that in count. With alcohol, I would say that, okay, drink with moderation, maybe one glass of wine per month, something like that, because you need your body to detoxify right now. And alcohol is gonna take up the functions of the liver in terms of having to detoxify the body from the alcohol. And then the liver is gonna be using that energy to do that instead of helping other systems like the immune system, for example. And we need that energy to be focused towards all the systems that you need to be strengthening right now. Remember that this is one of the things that micronutrients do. And if you are seeking to find ways to avoid taking any supplements, but getting the micronutrients that your body needs, you're going to need to focus your attention a lot into getting all these micronutrients at any cost. And that will mean that you might have to forget about getting these agents that are going to be toxic for your body and will affect your metabolism. Number four is pay good attention to the water that you are consuming. I did mention in another video that there is a problem with the water today because it has been at risk or contaminated already with agents that are present in our soils. And this is a problem. So I will tell you that be mindful with the water that you are consuming. And also if you can find sources like mineral water instead of this distilled water or tap water, that's a lot better. You need to provide your body with things that are going to be nutritious for you and that will help you. We do need water. Humans need water. But in order for you to get the right amount of water and the quality, you really need to do your research in terms of knowing where the water is coming from because you need to avoid any risk of getting any contaminants in the water that you are ingesting and that's going to be aiding with any disease that might be established in there. Mineral water has the advantage that is, is coming filled with minerals and those minerals, you do need them. So instead of getting those supplements because you are lacking of minerals, so try to find that source of micronutrients through water because water is already rich with minerals, especially if it's the mineral water. Some waters can be also enriched with minerals and they, they might work. However, if you can find the natural sources of water with minerals, that's a lot better. Number five is always seek to maintain a healthy blood pressure for your age and gender. A normal blood sugar level that you can actually check the normal levels in the description of this video and a healthy cholesterol level. Number six, sleep at least seven to nine hours each night. This is so important and I will always focus on this one. I have always said that people need to sleep because you need your energy and you need to actually recharge during your sleep. If you sleep that time, you're going to give time to the hormones that need to actually reach their peaks at certain moments during your sleep to do that and to allow the metabolism to work a lot better. Everything works in a cycle and the cycle consists on being awake and also sleep. And there is a reason for everything. So if you need to be awake and be healthy, nutritious, doing your exercises, but at the same time, you, when you go to sleep, need to really relax is what it's meant to do. Remember if you can actually do some intermittent fasting before you're gonna go to bed or a few hours before, that will also help your body and your metabolism to work a lot better and to actually focus all the energy in other systems of the body instead of being focusing on the digestion of the foods that you just consume. Having a heavy meal, during the night, especially late at night, is counterproductive for this. So for this purpose, I really need you to have an empty stomach, go to bed, really relax, even if you feel hungry the first days, but you will see the difference because your metabolism is going to increase and it will actually 
get the energy focused just on the systems that really need it. If you are not putting all that energy and wasting it in digestion for how, who, who knows how many hours during the night, then it means that once you fall asleep, your body is going to be directing that energy towards other systems and systems that are really needed. For example, let's say, let's focus the energy in the immune system right now because I have nothing else to do with digestion, which means that now I can focus my energy on the immune system. And that is great because you're going to be strengthening your body. Intermittent fasting is great and it works wonders for people and especially if you are seeking to have a very good night's sleep of seven to nine hours each day. Number seven is maintain a healthy weight. You need ideally a body mass index of 18.5 to 24.9 or a waist circumference of at least 32.5 for women and 35 inches for men. Remember that obesity is a preventable cause of disease, especially chronic disease and also premature death. You cannot be obese and healthy. And having a body mass index of 30 or higher increases your risk of many conditions that will eventually become chronic. So following these seven tips, I tell you that you will see the changes happen. You can even cheat a little bit in a few of them and maybe do a little bit of something that you, for example, let's say that you would like to drink one glass of wine uh, weekly. Okay, maybe you can get away with that if you are compensating doing the other things that you should be doing. This is why I wanted to give you options in case you're not up to having to take any pills or supplements. Because after all, my purpose is just providing you with alternatives to the goal of healing. And this is why I feel that it will be unfair for me to be totally biased just with supplements. You can get away with this and you can actually find your way out of having to rely on supplements and pills, but you need to make sure that you're getting all these seven things right. If you make sure of this, your metabolism, your body is going to feel a lot different and you will be listening to your body and knowing exactly the signs and symptoms your body is sending you. So you will detect that in time and that will definitely prevent any chronic illnesses to be establishing in you or if you're already going through any chronic illness, it will help you to go through that and heal quicker. Thank you for being here in this video. Remember that you can always follow me on my social media and you can, do, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel and you get more information of all these new videos that I'm making for you, especially now that I'm making this series of supplements. You do have some free content and free materials available in my website. And don't forget to download your free guides of superfoods that is available here in the description of the video. Take care and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.